what it mean, Bowser. YouTube, I'm back again for another How to Play video, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Pinata Blast. This is for three to six players, ages seven plus. First thing you're going to want to do is get all the cards and shuffle them up, and then you're going to deal out seven cards to each player. Now, each player can look at these cards, and they can put them in order, but they don't want anyone else to see the cards that they have in their hand. Now, the person who last hit a pinata is going to take this little pinata stick right here. They're going to put it in front of themselves. That pretty much means they're the first player. And they're going to take all the dice. They're going to roll them up. They're going to roll them in the center. Now, everyone, fast and frantic, is going to be looking at their cards and trying to do one thing and one thing only. And that is to put down a card that matches a die that's out. So right now, I see that this symbol is on this die. So I can put this right in front of me, grab that die, and boom, put it on to that card. And now, I will have two points for the rest of the game. And you're going to try and do that as fast as you can. Now the rules with this are you can only put the card down first and then grab the die and put it on the card. You can't grab the the die before you get the card. Also, you can only put down one card at a time. Now, you'll notice that one of the die is green. Now this green die right here is a trick die. Whatever symbol is rolled on the green die each turn is not able to be scored during this turn. So for instance, in this example, we rolled Dolce, so if anyone tried to play down a Dolce card with a die on it, then they have to discard that card and it's now out of the game. They won't be able to score any points on it. So everyone at the same time is gonna be looking at their cards, trying to match them up. So like I got this, so I could do that until all the dice are out. So let's just fast forward to when this round will end. Now the round will end when all the dice are claimed or no one can collect any of the remaining dice. So in this particular example, no one else had chocolate in their hand. So this one chocolate die would just sit in the center and that's fine. Now what each player is gonna do is they're gonna take the dice off the cards that they put in front of them and they're going to place these into their score pile. This will be a separate pile you'll just set to the side. It doesn't say face up or face down, so you decide. And once everyone's done that and returned the dice to the center, you're now going to check to see if anyone's won the game. To see if anyone's triggered the end of the game. If any player has no cards left in their hand, then the game is over and you'll move on to scoring. However, if all players have at least one card in their hand, then you're all going to draw one additional card past the totem thingy clockwise around the table and then this player is going to roll the dice and you repeat now when you do get to a round where someone has no cards left in their hand then you're going to move on to the scoring phase and this is really quite simple if you have any cards that are left in your hand discard them and then you're just going to count the cards that were in your scoring pile for instance this player has a two and a one they'd have three points highest score wins and if there's a tie you're gonna to have to house rule it because it's not mentioned in the rule booklet now if you want to play with younger kids you can do that pretty easily by taking out the green die and not worrying about the victory points at the end of the game, but just counting how many cards each player has. But that's how you're going to play Pinata Blast. If this helped you out, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing or supporting the Patreon, as I teach new games all the time. But go have some fun. Thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month. And as always, thanks for stopping by.